Okay, what's up everybody? Welcome to lecture 5. Actually, lecture 5 and 6 is where the real deal of basic class is going to take place. Lecture 5 and 6 is going to take you through all those nukes and crannies around where you can make money online. Now, let's start with uh, writing. We are going to discuss 6 topics particularly in lecture 5 and from three, 4, 5, 6 is actually very useful. And then one, two, three is of course useful, but it's more of a basic that can lead you into four, five, six to be very useful. So let's go to five point one, lecture five point one. Lecture five point one discusses about uh, writing and as a modern digital skill. So here you would understand that writing is the art of forming visible letters or characters and symbols. So there are different types of writing, and they include narratives where you tell a story or story writing. Expository writing that informs creative writing that involves expression with figure of speech, movie like example movies, songs, and speeches. Also, objective writing, technical writing, persuasive writing, subjective writing, review writing, and research writing. All these are forms of writing, and writing is currently evolving. You could have other forms of writing coming up in future. So, please don't be limited to these types of writing. And a good business and professional writing should be clear coincides and complete you know it should be clear coincides and complete cautious coherence and constructive so this is referred to as the seven c's of writing so when you know the seven c's of writing uh, you know exactly what to do when you are writing apply all the seven c's of writing in your contents then you are going to have a very efficient content so these seven c's are actually very important these are like your checklists if you want to fly a plane, you have a checklist. If you want to fly a weather balloon, you have a checklist. So these are like your checklist for your contents to be very uh, creative, correct, and good for your audience. So there are different ways to improve your writing skills, which include organizing your thoughts, choosing your words carefully, customize your writing to target your audience, avoid unnecessary words, write short sentences, use active voice, take a cue from copywriting because copywriting is actually very efficient you should do more research about that you can actually earn a living as a copywriter please deep go deep into copywriting as a research so this will help you even as a digital marketer whatever you are doing copywriting is actually very useful so edit your work for simplicity no matter how good you are as a writer you notice that sometimes you make mistakes so when you have somebody working at the back end as your editor the person can help you edit some of these uh, articles that you have written some of this content see the mistakes you did not see and when it is really really poor some editors will send it back to you to do the correction but some editors when it is somehow good and somehow bad they can correct some of the bad for you and help you do your content to be, very, to be of good quality so this last part describes the authors and authors are described based on their style of writing so based on your style of writing it can be described into uh, it can be classified into different groups of authors which includes the novelist a speed racer writing snob plotter plan star storyteller closet writer introverted writer copywriter technical writer and more plenty you so they are actually a lot like based on the types of uh, authors and if you go deeper into what i just display right now you will find out more like I said, basic class have a lot of basic uh, theories which you guys can still find online and do more research to understand. So I just brought out some of the key points to make you understand before we go into the real deal. Now this infographic here, infographic here is going to show you the different uh, types, different types of uh, or different examples of writing based on their classification. So based on the type, there was remember we mentioned descriptive article, we mentioned narratives, we mentioned arguments, argumentative writing, we mentioned technical writing. So this this is going to show you the example. So an email, resume, report, CV, uh, business plan, all these are classified under descriptive or technical. It can either be descriptive or technical. So proposals can either be descriptive, it can either be technical or argumentative so this is set theory that we learned in math so application of this set theory is to help you see the different example and this is uh, basically content writing content writing is what revolves around all these subsets narratives narratives can be memo profile or stories manifestos letters 
uh, commentary can either be a narrative or an argumentative writing or even a descriptive writing so all these are covered you see that these types of writing covers across the different example a resume can either be technical or descriptive you get what i mean so an email can either be technical or descriptive so these types of writing covers the basic examples of writing that you can find out there even journals and uh, press release so do more research on this i'm very sure you have a lot of resources out there that can help you understand more about writing which is classified as a mother of all digital skills so 5.2 5.2 talks about why you need writing and communication skill as a plus for other digital skill remember writing and communication so writing is a form of communication actually and there are other forms of communication oral communication whatever way you want to use to communicate so writing and communication is actually a skill that can help you as a plus for other digital skills you need a combination of the different types of writing to improve your other digital skills writing will help you to communicate the necessary information in your tech related field in a clear and accessible form so writing in tech often involves solving complex problems a task which sometimes is impossible without the benefit of collaboration so ability to communicate will help you do that having a strong interpersonal communication or oh yes a, a skill makes it easy for co-workers and teammates to work together to generate ideas solve problems and learn from one another so writing and efficient communication is very important for everything you want to do in tech so this is why you need it this uh, topic was actually to open your mind why this is important and i don't think i need to emphasize on this it's more like telling if making emphasis on uh, eating food is important for you to live i don't need to tell you that you need to eat food eat. and i don't need to tell you that if you don't eat quality food you're not going to live well so this is writing is more like a food of tech skill the food of tech skill so the way you treat your food importantly it should be the same way you treat writing so that makes it straight to the point enters the head right inside <laughs> so so that we can move to the next one here the next one here is uh writing tools like i mentioned when we are doing lecture four digital tools writing tools writing is a, a digital skill so a tools for the writing is uh, focused on that tools for data analysis tools for digital marketing every digital skill has its own tool and blockchain generally have its own general tools so small seo tool which is actually very robust grammarly are uh, very popular currently uh plagiarism checker word counter microsoft a small seo tool what i discovered a small seo tool is doing that's taking the job from word counter i don't need to visit word counter yet to count my number of words. i can just do it directly on small ac2 plagiarism checker the same thing i can just read directly here I, before i used to use a uh, uh, plagiarism checker separately on a separate website but I, when i figured that small seo tool has this i'm so glued to it small seo tool you can write as you write on microsoft google docs but google docs has its own importance where you can share link of what you are writing directly to somebody give the person a date right google doc is actually very cool something everyone should practice i don't know if i should teach that in my class no i will not because it's very basic something you can actually follow up there is t word evernote notepad and other ides independent development environments are good writing tools depending on what type depending on what type of writing <laughs> you are doing so please take note of all this so we are going to go through on small seo tool and grammarly which is I, of course we'll try out word counter which covers small seo tools man these guys they're actually really serious in this business so let me see if i can open their website now small seo tool small but mighty i agree so okay so this is small SEO front end. Uh, you can switch dark mode and day mode. I think this dark mode looks cool, so I'll keep it here. And you can see, you can check plagiarism. You can write an article from a fresh. <laughs> you can check your grammar, uh, uh, grammarly. And funny enough, I think when I opened this website on the, in the afternoon, I saw grammarly ad adverts here. These guys can be furniture. Word counter. I don't need to visit these guys again. I'll be typing blow, 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 blow. It's counting. Like they say, write a 500 word article. You can come here, right? There are other tools that even does this too. 
so these guys are still useful of course they will have other use cases and behold they are advertising grammarly on their website yeah grammarly must have paid good money for that so i don't know what else that you can do you can save you can it's just explore all these tools or all these functionalities on their website which will help you check you can check your grammar you can do whatever you want to do so like assuming i copy all this oh, that's crazy you know i copy all this copy and i paste here well that shows me that i have 1753 characters 200 305 word article so if i'm told to write a 1500 word article this is how i will use it so let me take all this out to small seo tool and uh, remember that small seo tool has its own limitations so let's try what count on small seo tools small seo tools has free account and paid account and wow you can upload file directly you can upload from your google drive or dropbox these guys are serious with your business man so you can count words you can check grammar and what's that where are we so it has shown me 305 words you see syllables wow, this is so much better sentences it tells you how long it will take a normal reader to read this two minute read three minute read when you go to steam website you will be able to be seeing all these kind of things or medium medium is a show how many minutes read and all that there are other websites like this so you can check grammar well with all those nonsense i type i'm very sure the grammar will be very poor so uh oh this takes us to grammarly wow they have respect for grammarly <laughs> so this is my grammarly i pay for premium if you pay for premium you will enjoy more so uh, i think my writers use this to write announcement for some of the project we do marketing for so let's see which of these we can touch partnership with hd lab blow 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 oh what's that that's not a full article so let's see if we can get a full article so this helps my writers to actually check for their correctness clarity delivery style guide oh a bunch of things over here so this helps a lot this helps a lot uh if you refresh this you're going to be able to check let me see go down to the bottom i think overall score 99 percent this helps you to see that you're actually doing well suggest some things for you the blue line the red line the red line shows that almost oh, you are wrong they have to correct so let me take that article that i was working on you know that my article that was very bad with some blue blue blah blah so i'll put it here so you see all my blue blue blah blah now it's a start correcting my blue blue blah blah and cutting off some things so this helps you look smart the better you, you are able to use your digital tools the the more advanced you become you look smarter you look cool you look you look of great quality of course so that you'll be able to satisfy your customers that are actually coming to so i say customers or people that are making use of you see that was a bunch of bullshit that i was typing down there and no this is the type of this is the side i was typing bullshit it's not even correcting my bullshit the respect it's even correcting what i copied from word counter hey, yeah so all this their stuff grammarly the grammarly they are advertising here for us they did not use it see grammarly is busy correcting them yeah, yeah and sometimes please don't really rely on this remember that grammarly can also be wrong that sometimes grammarly corrects me and i'm like boy are you for real because this is these things work with the ai so they are not 100 percent correct they work based with based on data based on their big data system and whatever they have with the over there that makes it correct uh, all this stuff so you can do research if you're interested in knowing what is behind and if you find out please tell me because me i enjoy using this tool i don't even know what they used to create it but i know it's backed by an ai and if you find out please make sure you tell me so okay so you keep on correcting rewriting unclear read out all what is attached to it and then once you do that you'll be able to uh you can name it you can search for articles based on the name you gave you can send to trash i check your accounts i think my account is premium and I, I recommend this premium if you have money to pay for it honestly it's worth it it's worth it you look so smart write it like you write like as if you have you have been authoring some books before so grammarly is of great quality so please uh 
try it out so all these are tools that with your sense of observation and IQ you are you should be able to ass assess this <laughs> without me having to come and open your head to put it inside okay that's just by the way so let's check out other tools you can you might want to check out pricing just open it on another tab you see pricing for their plagiarism check out other things that they have on their website so let's yes, keep going back check out other tools you can use it to write article you can use this to convert text to image these guys they know they play for it you can use this to do a lot a lot and they are from the look of things i think they are actually going into design resume builder ah, ah. see your man calm down now like you want to do everything resume builder flyer makeup oh, wow these guys no i have to leave this website and come back later and calm down digest so that i don't spend all my time trying to talk about small seo tool but you can see how robust this tool is this tool is so okay to save time let's move over to i think with this i've been able to talk most of the tool microsoft word is straightforward now i'm not going to come and do computer training here google docs t words come on please 5.4 okay real deal now introduction to web3 platforms where you can aim as a writer introduction to web3 platform where you can aim as a writer platform where web3 enthusiasts can aim as a writer includes timmy.com hype.blog blog.blog publish ox what's the other one i'm very sure there's another one yeah mirror x y dot z plenty of plenty but the ones that are actually uh, paying very well is hive at this point hive ahead of steam which was first before hive and of course blood still trying to see how they can meet up with this and funny enough these two guys hive and blood they are all folks of steam yeah and this is a successful first folk of steam and the guy that is struggling the story i'm gonna tell you quite later so publish ox has been there for a while where you get tips for writing articles and you get tips in ethereum you attach your ethereum wallet address so they can tip you some ethereum and some is it your platform dog is it public whatever i don't even know people tip you based on how they feel your quality your content is and uh, many more so steamit was created in 2016 by Tangarima. this guy quite annoying but very intelligent and smart why i say annoying is he creates project dump it and run away not like dumb dumb but he just you know he pulls out leaves you there hanging with your bag of investments like he has done at Beach shares done at uh but he creates very cool take man this guy creates something very cool and he just gives up on it he never finishes building creates timid left us there created eos we followed him to eos he left us there went to voice he just went to bullish.com he has left all of us there <laughs> they have left you behind so this guy is intelligent but he doesn't like working till the end and this makes him very skeptical for investors as an investor I wouldn't invite, advise you to invest so much on this guy's idea but he can be lucky <laughs> and he pumps so crazy so he started the uh, steam it with Ned Scott he was the idea man like, I guess Ned Scott was the money man hey possibly Ned Scott was the money man and this was the idea man so sometimes it's good to be both the idea man and money man so they started together as co-founders and blue 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 happened again and Nick Scott had to flack his co-founder for a rank fight 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 fights. The story is long when we go down there and that very much left to EOS, you know. The sun has gone. The moon cannot shine without the sun. So the Scott was busted. And then okay, uh hmm, things happen, 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 and at the end of the day, the Scott had to sell steam it to um just the sun. I'll tell the story later. So let's go down. There are many other Web3 platforms that you can earn as a writer. Um, yeah, I talked about that already. So I think we are going to go into 5.5 where we now understand how to use this Web3 content platform. How to use it. Hmm. How do I start this? Because <laughs> understanding how to use it well is actually what is going to make you money. So let's start by understanding the platform. Let's start with Steam It, Blood. Sorry, let's start with Hive. If you understand Hive, you understand Steam It and Blood, of course. But there are small differences that can make it uh, make it uh, look different for you. So starting from the front end and other stuff. But let's start with Hive because this is the ecosystem of. Man, no, sir. Let's go down to this one. 
and I think I have my hive locked in here, my hive account. Oh, I was locked out, so I'm gonna log in again. So this is the cool front end, front end of money. When you come in here, you'll be inspired. You see money just flying. You're just wondering what is happening, my my brethren. And it's of no one made money. It looks no see. Okay, here we are. These are the different front ends where you can create the contents. Steam it. Let's start with that. Steam it. Hive bots because let's start with the hierarchy of creation so this is steam it's blockchain steam it's yeah so okay this is how it looks the home page uh looking so eastern okay so eastern and if you want to create a steam it account you hover over to this side and you click sign up if you're on mobile i'm very sure there is a mobile view that can help you sign up so when you sign up on steam you click sign up that is what happens the same thing for hive you can see their user interface is very similar click sign up the same thing for blood similar user interface like sign up all these guys are uh fork of each other f-o-r-k what i thought in lecture one so okay on blood there is no free account creation i'm very sorry so you have to pay a crypto or use 10 blood instance must have a blood account so i'm going to help all my students to create a blood account for them paying 10 blood for each of your accounts and providing you with of course small blood for you to use in your operation on blockchain so we'll get over to that later when we want to sign up and uh, this one is on hive you can sign up for free you have to verify with phone using iphone board if you want to use snc you have to sign up with an email so if you click sign up let's try this on snc provide all details choose a username must be at least 12 characters your email address referred who referred you for you might want to put me your empath 365 please always put me empath 365 so that in case they are giving they are doing giveaway i'll follow and call it so put my username with uh, empath 365 and once you do that you click you do the capture continue and then they will send you your private keys remember what i said the private key is and then hive on board is similar but hive on board uses phone verification and for snc you are going to do email verification because you are using your email to sign up so hive on board you choose a username i say blah blah blue blah blah blue blue, blue. okay i'm not going to create this account this we are just playing around so they have already generated they have, this is like a proposed key that they will give to me you can download and back up do all the following choose your d app and so on now let me show you what you mean by choose your d app on hive hive the block choose your d app yes when you come to hive blog you see proposal post Proposal where you see all the posts on Hive proposals. You see people that are posting proposal on your worker proposal system. Yes, they have worker proposal system. So make sure you explore this website very well. And you might even want to submit proposal, but it's not a small boy's gift. It's for the big boys. You need to really have something to contribute to the ecosystem. This is the witness. These are the block producers. Like I said, witnesses, block producers. These are the miners that are verifying blocks on this chain. So they are bearing their own identity where normal users can come in and be miners on this chain now this is the beauty of what another remote can create but they are actually uh, using uh, cloud servers some of them are using local servers so like i said top 21 uh miners they are the one earning the most on this uh, website oh well bunch of things are happening leo finance i'm seeing them there so when you come down to our d apps our d apps helps you see like there was a point on this uh, course outline where I said one blockchain different front end. So all these D apps are operating on one blockchain. And using these D apps, it means if you use Hive Block, you are going to create content on Hive Block directly on the blockchain, and you are going to earn a Hive reward for doing that. If you use Big D, I'm sure there are Big tokens on Big D, and you still receive Hive reward. If you use three speak, I'm sure they have speak tokens. So this is the advantage of this platform. 
you are earning both Hive and the DApp tokens. And these DApp tokens, you can sell it on Hive Engine. Um, we'll get to that, so we are not about to sell right now. So you try as much as possible, activate, you earn fit token, is it active whatever token, and then still Hive. Man, this is move to end. So this ecosystem has a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. I cannot tell you everything about it, but please try and explore. And this one is more like a tool. I don't think you aim from this one. So I block, you go to their website. This is like the Explorer. Uh, I hope my network will permit us to see this. So I block is like an Explorer. I block Explorer. This is another tool. Let me open that the new tab. Okay. That's another tool. Hive Blog Explorer. It helps you see the top witnesses, uh, blockchain properties. You can search for your account, top 20 witnesses, latest blog, who has been mining the latest blog. You can search for your account. Of course, this is for my account. Paper 2365. A senior man account. <laughs> so, okay. You see details of what I've been doing on this chain two weeks ago, one week ago blue blue blah blah down 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 you see one year ago like this is one thing about blockchain data integrity so everything i've been doing on this chain is recorded right from the creation of my account you can load more and high blocks i think high block does the same you can load more just different ui so high blocks you search my username Whoa, 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 you're gonna see all the evil I've been committing on this chain. <laughs> That's easy to know that is hard. So, okay, you scroll, 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 scroll. Oh my, this class is going to be long because there's a lot to talk about. So, these D apps, now that you have known about all the D apps, now let's go over to this, uh, this side where I have my account locked in. I'm locked in on the hype dot blog D app so I can post. So I am spending time on Hive now so that we can understand Hive because if you understand Hive, you'll be able to understand Steam. It's still the same pattern to write, you want to write. Uh, Steam doesn't have all those editor and uh, markdown. Okay, I think they have it now, editor and markdown. Uh, and then the number of tags you use, tags is very important. When you're using tag, make sure that the tag you're using, the face tag you're using is actually the most important part. So if you're if your content is on music you can have to, you might have to include music tag and whatever tag make sure you join the right communities put the right tags there and then this editor mode i think the editor mode is just gonna help you let's see the editor mode here is not like hive so i think this one you still use the you still use this yes that's italics you see how it is appearing in italics but Hive is cool. So maybe if you, and they allow you to write content on Hive and bring it to Steam. But don't do plagiarism. So when you write on Hive like this, you copy it and then you bring it to Steam. Hive will help you. <coughs> I'm sorry. Hive blockchain will help you to write it on that markdown mode. Like this mode. This is what I mean. And you visual editor. This visual editor mode in case you don't like coding. You copy it out. Come here. It's the same thing. It will appear very fine. And you can paste and when you are done with that too you want to go to another blockchain and still post the same content not you can do that but be careful i think the blockchain you should start with is hive so as to avoid being flagged to avoid being flagged there is a bot called cheetah bots on hive cheetah bot when it sees the content that has been posted somewhere else and you're bringing it to hive it can flag you down so on blood there is nothing like flagging on blood there's no flagging on blood, no bad energy. So you can only upvote the content, but you can't downvote. If you don't like the content, just leave it. But on Steamit and Hive, you can downvote the content actually. You can see the upvote button, you can see the downvote button. So if I have this based on my influence, if I don't like this post, this is how I can downvote this post. I need to go down to uh to fifteen dollars, of course, depending on my power. But if I have strong power, I can also upvote this post and it gets to $100. So this 
way tool that they gave to this power that they gave to people that have so much steam in their wallet was what was ruining the ecosystem because they had so much to say on how much token somebody can get and if, how much somebody can even get in terms of high power and all that so they were really in control of their money but this is my notification uh a lot of boring stuff there uh, okay so that's just it based on my activities this is my rank on this chain uh, 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 still looking at this so I don't want to spend much time on this I want us to practice it so that it will be easy for us to understand because no matter the level of information that I give out here if you don't practice you are not going to understand so that's just for high blood steam which are very simple to follow please I needed to talk about this which is very important too the keys and permission you notice that when you create your account sometimes they give you depending on where you create if you create on SNC they will just give you uh, your keys how do I hide my keys right now I don't want to expose my keys so let me log out from my wallet so that so here okay you have to add at so here is what I'm talking about on the wallet section I don't think I can still see that only way I can show you the keys and rewards the keys and Let me log into my wallet again. You can use Hive Key extension if you have your key stored in your keychain. If you don't have it stored in your keychain, it's always good to use keychain because keychain is different from your main uh, saving it in your browser. Since I don't have any money here, I don't have any problem saving it on my browser. So there is posting key. Posting key is actually when you give somebody your posting key, always read this. Read what is here to explain it, please. So that we save time on explaining some of these things. So when you give somebody your posting key, like if I give you a posting key to my account, it's more like giving you my password to come and post on my account. You can post with my account, but you can't do anything else aside posting. Then you have your active key. Active key, if I give somebody my active key, I give the person the ability to do transaction on my wallet. Owner key, this is your pata pata key. If somebody has this key, the person needs to. The memo key, if somebody sends you something to your wallet. You know, the wallet is always very open. So somebody cannot read the memo that is being attached to that transaction if you use memo keys to send something to somebody like i want to send you an information i copy i use 0.01 hive send that to you use memo key to send it so whatever i'm attaching as a memo nobody else can see you are the only one that can see it by using your own memo key you copy your memo key log into your wallet and then you'll be able to see the memo of what i sent to you so that's the advantage of this blockchain so that in case you have a very important information like use this to buy bread you know what my person see say if they buy bread with the with high if you use your memo key <laughs> use this to buy bread and a car so that can help you secure what you are sending to somebody so this is high block to see where you can uh, high blocks will help you see your blockchain wallets and transactions historical transactions so yeah i think this is another very important part so you can also uh, let's go back by observing this platform this platform you cannot learn it in one day by but constant observation will help you so you want to change your account you can change your account you put the current password generate new password it will be key private key so when you generate it you enter the regenerated password click all this and you understand understand update so if somebody has your private key the person can do this but you can recover your account you can also recover your account if you have the recent password of that account they begin recovery if somebody steals your account and you have the recent password to that account you can prove that you have the recent password to that account so when you do that you'll be able to recover that account 
witnesses those guys that you saw up here witnesses they will help you recover your account for you like with proof that you can prove that you're the owner of that account so i think there was one of my friends that had a problem with one of her accounts i don't know if she can assess it now let's see i don't know if she still has if she still has access to the private keys the old private keys because it is now possible she had 600 steam which was being sent to her till today this was sent in 2018 that was when we were four years ago this was when we were bowling on steam it and our favorite man Dimim sent her money that time this money was worth so much back then now the value has dropped so the thing came into this account she had lost her keys and she couldn't access it this is what it tells four years she cannot access today the money is still worth 200 dollars and this was my favorite man the man that made me blow and steam it <laughs> back then so now that it was a fork of steam the money because this money was sent before that time the money is still there on both the uh both the steam it account and the hive account so this guy is still a baller he has over four thousand dollars in account since he left uh Uh, since she had woke up 2022 is out but okay it's on if I'm still alive so he told us he will come back in 2026 <laughs> if he's still alive hey god this man was fun nobody knew who he was but he was spraying money like you see the comment section of his account 2000 comments 3000 comments and he had so much team power back then he will vote you like mad like there are some of his posts that if I try to open now, it will be hanging. Like this one with 2,000 comments, I wouldn't want to go there because, man, there are a lot of data, people are uploading graphics, things that people are uploaded on this chain. Man, people did things and the man was just very happy. Nigerians were all around him. This is one of my friends that made money a lot on Steemit, Dean Daniel. And we have Omo. I don't want to go into this place. <laughs> It's a talk for another day because there's a bunch that happened on Steemit and it's still happening till today. If you get what I mean. So, uh, <laughs> okay. So that's it for steam hive and blood this year we can move into the next topic in order to save time oh there are lots of there are lot of platforms so with all this i think you'll be able to understand steam it. there is something that is called resteam resteam is just like retweeting somebody or somebody's post on hive resteam this is for steam it reblock is for hide hive for blots, there's something called reblot. So more like retweeting that happens on Twitter. That kind of feature is there. So I've explored the wallet section already. I've also explored the explorer, witnesses, blacklisted users, and plagiarism. And let's check out the explorer again because that part is actually very important. Like if I vote somebody's post on the explorer, this let's let's look for a cool post that we can go to explorer and see what happens there. So oh, this is a cool post. I'm looking for a post where somebody has partitioned, done all sort of things, like done all this. You see? So all I just need to do is upvote it so that my fingerprint will be there. When I upvote it, or anything I do, comments, anything I do, so that it will record my transaction on the chain. So let me not use that keychain. Okay. So if I upload this, I'll be able to see what I did on chain on high block. What's up now? These guys and their key things. Maybe I have to keep it locked in. You can't vote. Okay, it has already voted now. So let's see if it is available on high block.
This is also for need high blocks. Okay, this is my account on high block. So on high block, that vote that I just did 35 seconds ago. So I can click on this now. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. You see this thing right here? It will help you see the skeleton of that blockchain, skeleton of what is happening there. So this is the skeleton. I think I need to make a comment because there's how I used to see skeletons back then that you can see the posts, the post itself, like the content. If I click, okay, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 let me go back. So let me go back so that we follow this. This is the transaction hash, the hash of that transaction, that of that I just did, a part of 365 of voted this. So you click on this hash. This is how you can get the content and this is the skeleton of that content when you click this it will open this is how the content looks like you see all this center IMG you want your stuff to look at like that you know that this is your image link source this is your image link so when you upload your image and this thing comes out this is what you put so all this code like center IMG is source blah 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 this is going to help you align your image the way she did you see that down part where she did center href these are codes so you don't want to sit down and write 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 this helps you copy and edit like look, let me show you a typical example of what i mean you copy all these things that she did all the blue blue blah blah you don't want to waste your time on that so when you do that what you do is edit let's see how we can edit this on hive okay enable markdown use markdown because you see all our posts is here please don't copy somebody's post and post on your they will flag you <laughs> and when they flag you your reputation is going to drop they will flag you and your reputation will drop so reputation is available on hive and steam it and when you get flagged on hive on steam it your, your reputation will drop but blots they remove the reputation you cannot flag somebody on blots there's nothing like reputation you can see my account doesn't have something like reputation so the blots is like a free world but the value of that token is very low that's just their problem so going over you can see so now you'll be editing all these things in real time the contents you don't like all these are Spanish that you don't like you can change it I like those icons emojis you cannot use I don't know if you can use emojis directly from your laptop but I don't think you can so if you can if you cannot you can use your mobile and so on so when you are able to copy this from the skeleton you'll be able to edit it put your own content edit whatever you have here like this part put your own image put all this and then all your stuff will be able to come out and once you are able to do that you post so when you post you can start earning when high when people upvote you so create the content that people can upvote you and the last topic is how to scale how to scale is actually very long but these are tactics that way you know how to use the platform that you should know how to use in order to survive so i'm going to describe that now making use of explorer to follow up quality content what i just said now engaging in the comment section of active wells i showed up the meme people that were active on the main comment section we're making money so and i also mentioned that back then i was making a lot of money by just engaging in people's posts so joining active communities you see on hive that you see something like communities okay right now i'm going to show you how you can post directly to hive blockchain so posting to hive is very simple uh, but before i do that i have to show you one of the very cool introduction posts which i saw on hive 26 days ago and she talks about how she got here to a hive i'm going to make sure my students have access to this introduction post and read this you see she's writing a very cool story uploading the pictures as pretty as an amateur or somebody who is new to the ecosystem no need to resize div coral all those things are not available here she's just writing a story which seems cool writing all what she's been doing the fish business and stops very interesting down 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 she's writing all these cool hustles she's been doing and now she's now here on uh 
high blockchain so right in all that i think she made about uh 70 this post made about 73 dollars whereby the author got 35 dollars and creators got 37 dollars which shows that uh, this the split was 50 50 between them hive on board had to take uh 0 0.3 dollars as reward ocd had to take 0 0.3 and so on some mistook uh, for this guy had to take one dollar from that uh introduction post so the, i think this guy basically supports new people on the ecosystem and he gets uh his own reward for doing that so look at this uh she did very well here on the introduction post which i'll recommend everybody to have an access to what you're seeing here on your screen is a link so make sure you connect with some good people that can actually support your introduction post and then make sure uh, when they support you make sure you are doing quality content and you can see our post has introduce yourself which is actually the tag that can make you uh, be seen introduce yourself I'll show you how to include this tag Jess fishery okay what she does so introduce yourself if you click on this tag you see other uh, posts that okay it's currently an unmoderated tag you see other posts that has, is introduce yourself like new people that are joining the ecosystem introducing yourself so this one was four days ago this one was 12 hours ago uh this one just i don't know what is introducing well i guess it's introducing himself so then look at another one that is actually introducing himself who is master casual this is just this guy just came in and he's writing a uh, very experienced he's been getting a lot of votes and i think appreciator is supporting him so we have to get appreciator to support our introduction post the way he's supporting all these guys my introduction to hive written in spanish so a lot of people are still joining the ecosystem every day and if you click you'll see them this is another one. Even Grace, this looks like a Nigerian. If not, it should be another African. So, another great introduction. Okay, and I think she's also getting some upvotes from Canadian coconuts and some other people like that. Uh, I don't know what this comment is about. So, uh, yeah, so you you have to spend your time to make sure that your introduction post is of great quality. And once you do that, you can post, connect with people that can support you so that you can make a good post. So to write on Hive, when you are logged in with your posting keys on Hive.blog, so note that you use your posting keys to log into Hive.blog and you use your owner or active keys to log into the wallet site wallet.hive.blog so this is your home uh, page and this is how it looks like like this is my home you can see the trending page hot post new post payouts muted post and yeah so based on the communities communities that i subscribe to i will see post in leo finance tag i'm going to recommend hashtags that new people should use we're writing so one of the new posts a uh, uh, hashtag that you should use when joining this ecosystem is um, some of the hottest hashtag here you can use introduce yourself which is something that you should use in your first post hive learners also uh, Leo finance that should be the take on second one third one Leo finance and um, uh, let's see if there's another one that can actually be useful your finance hive learners and ocdb so with this they will tend to support your post because you are coming in new you tell them your story what you've learned at industry academy and so assuming i want to write a post you know this this system has in such a way that you can save something i tried writing this i am back to hive chain so you can use this as your title right 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 so here you can either write in with visual editor or markdown editor so visual editor allows you to see what you are typing in case you want to include an image let's see if we can get an image you want to upload an image you get the image link 
or the way may I do it is I select is it like a come down you select if you go to mark down side you can select the item or you copy or you copy an image let me see if I have any image on my clipboard I can paste here oh yeah so if you paste it to show like markdown editor shows it like a code like this but a uh, visual editor makes you see the image like in case you are not interested in all those codes just write using your visual editor so high blockchain is the only one that has all this feature and this is how the post will appear on high blockchain you get what i mean so you can do this blah 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 and then you try to bolden it highlight and then bolden you can italize you see how it is coming out you can increase the size you can just write h1 that doesn't work on markdown edit, uh, visual editor uh, but you can just highlight that and calibrate the size over here you see what i mean so but if you are markdown markdown you see how it looks on markdown so if you reduce the size again double h reduces reduces observe, observe this side observe this that is reducing as i'm adding more h you can add the maximum of six and so on so keep on practicing this if you add more than six it comes out like hash 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 keeps increasing increasing h1 is the highest so this is for headers so if you practice some of this it will help and if you are using visual editor you are not interested in doing all that visual editor just makes it go straight to the point you write your post upload your image and put include your parentheses your numbers whatever you want to use and then you are in so if you are not okay you can do undo here can undo but on markdown you cannot undo let me see okay control z can actually help you undo when you are on this one but if you don't want to copy image on you can just select image download select image from your uh let me select that image from my pc so it's gonna upload you find out yeah selected that image from my pc you just upload and you see the image link here and this is how it looks so i also showed how to use skeleton to on the blockchain to copy a post style that you like and then import here so let's say for example i like a skeleton of a post i can copy it and then bring now this guy here is another nigerian guy who is actually very active on high blockchain and he's making cool cool money from just writing so he uses make use of three speak is one of the biggest members of three speak community so it makes use of three speak to create uh, video content like this and post it on high and high blockchain to claim rewards so these are his uh, videos these are his content so this content can be seen on three speak the video the app on high blockchain so clicking on that it takes me down to three speak so this is the three speak ui looks cool so guys just come on here to create videos you can see this guy is making 20 dollars for this video 30 49 dollars and so on 0.672 dollars 36 dollars they are all making cool money on the ecosystem so all this money is spreading around the ecosystem spreading around so depending on what you are good at if you are good at music sorry i'm yawning not easy for me today if you are good at music you can actually create music content like this is a typical example let me click this create music content put it on hive blockchain oh trying to get this to load so explore this so that you'll be able to use it well you can follow Hi, open mic, semana 78. Usuario, arroba, Rosana 6. Yeah, she's good at music. She wants to play. I'm not going to 
spend time watching what she wants to do here. We are going to move over because that's good. That's good. So you can join open mic competitions like this. Show your videos and whatever you want to do. Uh, put it on the hive, and then you are going to gain using. You have to log in. Don't forget that log in with your posting keys. If it demands the uh, the other key, you can put it. So and please don't confuse yourself with your posting key and your and your active key. So uh, yes. what zou het nou kosten als je alle huizen daar aardbeving bestendig maakt? So Iedereen is well, volledig yeah, your wallet. Well, posting key allows you gives you posting permission. So active keys helps you access your wallet. While posting key helps you uh, gives you posting permissions. So they help you secure your wallet and not have you uh, mix up things and lose your funds. So that's just it. And remember how to use the skeletal post to bring in some things. So this makes it easy for you to post. Once you do that, you include your hashtag. You can include the summary. The reasons for the summary is for SEO. SEO, for example, this post is about, if, for example, if your title of the post was, I am back on Hive Chain. Hive Chain is blah, blah, blah. And whatever you want to write about, this is like a short description so that when you appear on search engine, this is what somebody is going to read first before they click on this article. Hive Chain is, so this is what people will read. This is what describe your post. This is what somebody sees first before they open your post. And then the tags can be introduce or let's say Leo Finance. Introduce yourself that is for beginners. Leo Finance and so on. So so you can use a minimum of one tag and maximum of once you have fulfilled most of the conditions, you see that this post button is going to be highlighted. So you are going to post as in part two. You can post as any other person you want to post as, depending on w w which uh posting keys or permissions you have so you can select it by adding your auto rewards you can decline payout you can allow it to be in hp or the hbd hp means high power high power is a uh, convert is gotten by buying uh, it's more like staking your hive into your wallet let me open this other side so it's just like hive so you can get back your high power through 13 weeks power down so this is Hive, Liquid Hive 58 Hive. So this Hive can be transferred to anywhere at any time uh, uh, on exchanges so that people can uh, trade it, buy it. So with your Hive, now if you want high power to have influence on the blockchain, you have to power up this high power, or this Hive into your high power. And to get back your high power, you get it back 1 over 3%. And this thing pays annually 2.99%, that is almost 3% of your staking. If you do read this, you see the right file is more like your influence token, which gives you more control over post payouts and allow you to earn creation reward. Uh, this part of this OCDB account, because we are on OCDB right now, is currently delegated. Delegation is donated, uh, is donated for influence. So I think he talked about this high power that it has gotten. So when you power up your hive, you will be able to do that. To get back your hive into high power, you have to do this power down and it will show. 1 over 13. Let me go to my wallet and we experience that in real time. It will power down in 13 weeks for me, which is like approximately 3 months. If I want to do this, I'll click. This is my wallet so I can have access to it. If I wanted to transfer, if I have something I can transfer, you can also transfer to savings. You want to save, power up, buy, sell, all those things. So powering down. This is Hive. How much Hive do I want to power down? So I have like if something I have inside my wallet. So if I do that and click power down, the power down process will start and I can be earning uh, 1 over 3. It will be coming out 1 over 3 every week. 1 over 1.4, you see? Powering down this 17 hive for 13 weeks will be giving me 1.4 hive every week till I get my stuff back. So that helps control liquidity in the market. Also helps to control people from dumping their whole balance into the ecosystem. So explore this, go to your settings, there is a lot to explore. If I want to do a video on Hive, it, it will take like one special hour for us to talk about Hive alone, just Hive. So uh, let me talk about the next topic, which is on 5.6. 5.5 was understanding how to use Web3 content platform. So note that when you understand how to use uh, Hive, you know how to use teammates, you know how to use the other chains. 
so there is resteam, reblog, reblot, and other features. Uh, the explorer, the witnesses, all the sections, you'll find them on the hype blog. You come here, this drop down menu, you see your block explorer, you can switch to night mode, you can vote for a witness, you can check out proposal, you can join hive chat. Chat is hosted on hive chain where people chat with yourself. You can log in with an account. So this will help you connect to some people in the community. Hive chat will help you communicate with the people in the community. Uh, Hive proposals, developer portal for developers and all that stuff that is open here in the ecosystem. So when you click, you'll be able to explore. And when, if you have questions trying to explore those things, you can ask me, I'm very much available to answer those questions. So 5.6 is the last topic here before we move to lecture six. And this one is on how to scale high block, uh, blood block, steamy block, and more. So you make use of your explorer to so you follow up quality content, which I have shown, and then deploy the quality content, uh, like post using uh, the skeleton of that quality content. Engage in the comment section of active wells. If you can stay on commenting, commenting, commenting on some people's posts, you are going to make uh, rewards you are going to earn rewards because people will upvote your comments and you earn rewards for doing that so you can join active communities with quality content also join their web to social media communities to meet and connect with more people that can elevate you resource credit matters when posting on steamit and hive where you need more blood to be efficient on block blockchain so when posting on hive blockchain you see this green thing around my profile this green part is showing you that's my resource credit when i vote every activities that i'm doing um, it's going to my it's currently 100 percent now so if i'm posting if i am commenting if i'm liking it is going to reduce that it's just like a battery so that you don't spend you as a new user who doesn't have anything to contribute to the ecosystem don't spend time commenting spamming everywhere trying to make money if this thing is going to limit you you get what i mean this thing is going to limit you so when you have uh, the more high power you have the more strong your account will become and this thing will recharge faster and the rundown is not going to if you have more high power in your wallet for it to run down for your resource credit to run down it will take more time it's more like battery power somebody who's using 1000 mh is not the same like somebody who's using 5000 mh for somebody who's using 5000 mh this battery run the run run down slower than somebody who's using 1000 mh so the thing works in the same principle in terms of high power. So you need high power to make your resource credit last longer and not run down pretty fast. So being creative, there are a lot of things you can do, engagements, visibility, and quality content and stuff that can help you survive in this ecosystem. And but the main thing is meeting with meeting and connecting. Meet and connect with people. You can use hive chats. We show that hive chat here. And I say it's like just clicking here, logging with your keys, try to meet people on Hive Chat, talk to them, get support from them, and then you can join your Web2 communities, their Discord. These guys they mostly use Discord, so you can join your Web2 communities on Discord or Telegram if they have Telegram communities, but most of them use Discord. Hive on board, uh, what is the other one? OCDB, Hive Laners, there's some, there are many. So once I get these links, I'll share them to you you and the academy and you'll be able to join all these communities uh, don't go and spam them with the links to your post except they ask you talk to somebody first if it is okay for you to send your link and they can tend to support you for doing that so that's just basically it and that's it for the ecosystem and i'll be talking about very much more, more interesting topic in lecture six and we can of course recap about this and 6.1 recap about how to earn money from writing on web3 so that's it for today thank you very much